and it's easy to see how a foster youth could slip through the cracks and face challenges as they try to find stability in their young lives. This week, Hamilton County Job and Family Services is celebrating foster youth who have graduated from high school. And Director of Hamilton County Job and Family Services, Maura Weir, is joined by foster teen and graduate Bianca Graham. And good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Thank you for being here. Well, let's begin with you, Maura, because this is really a great honor for these students. Tell us about the graduation ceremony. It actually is. It's a wonderful event. It's probably one of my favorite each year. And this year we had 37 graduates that either graduated from high school or obtained their GED. And we were fortunate enough to have um, Lincoln Ware has been our MC for the last uh, few years, so mm -hmm. he was wonderful. And then we had the president of UC, um, President Williams, speak, and he did a powerful uh, speech for the kids. And it's just a nice opportunity. The kids get to identify two or three people that are important to them that they bring to the dinner. And imagine, you know, a lot of these children maybe not have had that opportunity to have an, a celebration with family, so we really try to make it a great event. And also thank the people that helped them get there, because it really does take a lot of people to help our youth um, overcome the barriers that they have when they come into foster care. And Bianca, you actually graduated for the School of Creative and Performing Arts. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you know, that is really wonderful. Yeah. Tell us about your experience getting through school and obviously facing these, these hurdles in life. Well, getting through school, going through my living and my situation was really hard. It's hard to make it to school, no money to get to school. So sometimes I would spend a night at friends, you know, and walk to school. I barely made it, but with the help of the agency, I have to, I have to you know, give them the utmost respect and appreciation because I don't really think I would have made it this far. So. And having an actual graduation ceremony, obviously a little separate from the school, but for special circumstances, mm -hmm. did that really bring an honor to you as well, too, to be able to thank those people who did help you along? Yeah, it, it really makes me, makes me feel special along with other, other um, young people. So to be able to be acknowledged for all that you do, twice. <laughs> that's great. That's you say great. that's wonderful. <laughs> that's great. Well, Mar, getting these students also to the next step, because they're 17, 18 a lot of times when they graduate, and they're really on their own. Mm -hmm. What happens next for a lot of students? Well, really, we hope that we've helped prepare them, you know, to think about the next chapter, and we try when they're with us to prepare them for independent living and really not just us, the foster parents, anybody that's important to the child, we really have worked with them to help give the, the, the youth the, um, the positive reinforcement and the skills to move forward. And we hopefully see this as a stepping stone. This is just the beginning. I mean, they've right. overcome a tremendous accomplishment and you can never underscore that. Um, and then the next thing is to see what's what's important to you. Would you like to go to college? Would you like to go to trade school? I mean, you know, what, are, what would you like to do? And really hope that we've helped prepare them to think through what that is. And, and we're out of time, unfortunately. But Bianca, tell us really quickly, are you going to college? What's your next move here? Um, currently, I am singing professionally with oh, a few great. bands, and um, I will be going to college. So we're going to see you around on the stage. Thank you so much, ladies. We're